fact that today I wanted to talk about lovely food in your house and what that looks like. So let's get started. Fact number one, what is lead? So lead is a naturally occurring metal that is found throughout the uh, earth. Also, lead has uh, beneficial uses that we, we've been using for a long time. So it's been used in a variety of products, again, um, including gasoline, paint, plumbing pipes, ceramic, batteries, and even cosmetics. Yes, ladies, cosmetics. I can't even believe it. So lead is very hazardous to humans as well as animals. Fact number two, due to the health concerns in 1973, the federal government began to phase out uh, lead and gasoline. So I want to say that it was totally eliminated by 1996. Also, the government had banned lead-based paint in your household uh, paint. So that was uh, eliminated or phased out as well in 1978. So let's talk about fact number three. HUD estimates that it's about roughly 35% of houses still contain some lead-based paint in there. Again, because remember they banned it or eliminated the use of lead-based paint in 1978. So I'm talking about houses that were built before 1978. Yes, you do have the potential that you may have traces or some certain amount of lead-based paint in your home. So fact number four, most common places that you can actually find lead-based paint would be in your basement, especially if your basement is not a finished basement. And outside your home, if you take a look outside your home and you find like chip paint flaking or anything like that, you have the potential, I'm not saying that it is, but you have the potential to have lead-based paint. Now, when you go in your basement, if your basement is not a finished basement and you look around and you see anything like um, chipping or flaking of paint, now, lead-based paint kind of looks like, okay, like an alligator skin. You know how like an alligator skin is kind of rough and it's thick and you can see those crack marks in it? That's basically what lead-based paint looks like. So fact number five, last but not least, if you feel like you may have lead-based paint in your home and it's definitely a concern to you, especially if you have children, you can go to your local Walmart or your hardware store and you can actually, it's a kit that they sell that you can test your home for lead-based paint. You can do it yourself. Um, the kit may only cost maybe $10, $20 if that. Now, if you don't want to do it yourself, you can always hire a professional to do that if those are your concerns. So those were my Friday's fun facts for today. If you liked anything that I've talked about, please subscribe to my channel. All the information is below. And also remember to like, share, and comment on this video. Especially by sharing this video, you could be helping somebody who didn't know about lead-based paint, but I'm quite sure everybody knows about lead-based paint, or they may not have known what it actually looks like, or that they can actually go to the store and buy a kit. So share this information with somebody. You may be blessing somebody with information that they didn't know. And if you are pre-approved or pre-qualified and you're ready to start your journey in home ownership, go to my website, www.tawandavalentine.com and fill out the information and I'll set you up with a free consultation. So join me next week for another Friday's Fun Fact at 5. Bye!